Welcome to another video. So, I've covered a bunch of agents like Agent K, Agent Zero, and whatnot. But the one agent that has been around for quite some time now is Open Interpreter. Open Interpreter is an open source project that is very similar to what Agent Zero and Agent K do. Actually, this is the agent that has basically inspired them. It basically lets LLMs run code via Python, JavaScript, Shell, and more locally. So, by running code, it can accomplish any task you give it. It provides a natural language interface to your computer's general purpose capabilities. For example, it can create and edit photos, videos, PDFs, and it can even control a Chrome browser to perform research. It can also plot, clean, and analyze large data sets, which is really cool. You'll also be asked to approve the code before it's actually run. It can even do speech-to-speech -speech and other tasks, which is also really cool. It uses Light LLM to connect to models, meaning you can use it with almost any provider, including Olima. It also has a bunch of other features, plus you can use it within your programs. You can even run an API endpoint if you want to use it via API like with other models, which is also kind of cool. But that's enough talk. Let's try it out and see if it really works as they say. So, installing it is quite easy. You'll just need to run the pip install open interpreter command, and that will get it installed. Once installed, you can just run the interpreter command, and it will start working. For the first time, it will ask you for the OpenAI API key because it works best with that. If you want to use a local model, you can use it with the local operator. I'll show you how to do that later in this video. But for now, let's enter the API key and see if it works correctly. Okay, so now I've put in everything, and you can see this is the main interface. Here, you can enter what you want to do and it will start working on that. Other than that, there's not much to do here, which is fine by me. Anyway, let's ask it to do something simple, like getting the time in Sweden. Let's send the prompt over. Okay, it's processing. Here's the code it wants to run. Let's approve it. Okay, here's the time, and it's fully correct. So, it's off to a good start. Most previous agents couldn't even do this. Now, let's ask it to make a Minesweeper game using HTML, CSS, and JS. This way, we can see if it can create files and other stuff. Okay, let's send the prompt now. It's doing the same thing again. Let's wait a bit. And now it's done. It's asking for permission to run it, so let's approve that. Okay, here's the preview. It isn't working. Let's go back. Okay, so it has only completed the first step, and it wants to do some additional tasks. Let's say yes, and allow it to proceed. It's doing its thing again. Let's wait. Okay, now it's done. Let's run it. Okay, here's the game, and it works pretty well. It's functioning just fine. So, it can even do that, which is cool. Now, let's see if it can work with local documents. I have this research paper about Storm. Let's give it the file and ask it to summarize it. Let's send it over. It's processing again. Let's wait a bit. Okay, here's the code it wants to run. Let's approve it. Now, it wants to install a package. Let's approve that too. Okay, it's doing that now. Let's wait a bit. The package is installed, and now it's extracting details from the PDF. Let's wait here. And now it's done. You can see it has provided a pretty good summary, which is impressive. So, it can handle both basic and complex tasks. They also claim it can do things like converting files from DOC to PDF and controlling other apps. Let's try converting this folder with three DOC files to PDFs. Let's ask it to do that. It's processing again. 
Let's wait. Okay. It says it's done. Let's check the files. Yep. It has converted them. And they look good. So, it can literally do anything. It's like what Agent Zero and Agent K dreamed of being. This is really cool, and most of the time it's spot on. It can even catch errors and refine them, which is also amazing. Now, let me show you how to use it with Olama or local models. First, make sure you have Olama installed. You can easily get it by going to Olama's site, clicking the download button, choosing your operating system, and installing it. Once done, ensure you install a model from the models page. You can just copy the command and paste it in your terminal to get the model installed. Once that's done, run Open Interpreter with the local operator, and it will ask you which provider you want to use. Let's select Olama here. Once you select it, you'll be asked which model you want to use. Just pick the one you want. You can also download other models from here. Once all that's set up, you can start using it with local models, which works well. However, it is limited in some ways, but it's still pretty good. If you want to use any model other than OpenAI, you can do that too with the model operator, which allows you to change the model to whatever you need. You can also modify the base URL of the API. For example, if you want to use something like Open Router or another service, which is pretty cool. Now, in my experience, Open Interpreter works very well. It can handle almost anything you need, like converting a file, summarizing a document, writing some code, or changing a system setting you're not familiar with. It's much better than Agent Zero or Agent K, and it works effortlessly while using fewer tokens, which is a bonus. It's really super cool to use and performs exactly how you'd want it to. There are also a bunch of things it can do that I haven't even covered yet, like speech-to-speech -speech and multimodal inputs. I think Agent K and Zero should take notes on how to develop a really good AI agent. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.